up, man? It's your boy Shot. Shot vs. A Bikes Podcast. My bad. I usually have that bitch on motherfucking pause. <laughs> it's uh, episode 57. We got a special guest in the building. Uh, John A, right? John A. Scott. Yeah, John A. Scott. I wanted to make sure because at first I'm like, is it Zane Scott? Oh, yeah. But then I seen in parentheses, you said pronounce John A. Yeah. So, yeah, John A. Scott. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Blessed nonetheless. Oh, yeah, for sure. I appreciate you coming in. You was on time. That's always a plus because a lot of motherfuckers be an hour, 30 minutes late. Like, damn, cuz, you just say, fuck my time, huh? I, you know? <laughs> damn. Hell yeah. But before, before we get started with everything, we always do this thing called Salute Me While, while I'm Here. So basically, instead of waiting for motherfuckers to pass away, that's when you see everybody on Facebook like, oh, I love this person, or mm-hmm. this person was dope, or whatever, instead of giving them their flowers while they were still here. But the thing about it is you got to make sure you think outside the norm. So it can't be mom, dad, kids, you know what I'm saying? It got to be somebody outside of that box. Mm-hmm. So if you got somebody in mind... You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and give him a shout out. Who I wanna give I wanna give Sierra a shout out. That's my best friend. That's my person that boosts me up, encourages me. Mm-hmm. My best friend Deja, she's in Ghana right now. I wanna give her a shout out. Mm-hmm. Um I really this is so left field, but it's a songwriter. Her name is Nija. Okay. And um, she's been really holding it down for mm-hmm. the songwriters, and I want to give her her flowers mm-hmm. while she's here because yeah. it's amazing. And you know, a lot of songwriters don't get get credit oh, yeah, for sure. on the forefront, so yeah. I want to give her her, cre- her credit, her flowers. But yeah. I'm just shouting out everybody that support me, that love me, that Hell I yeah. love. You Hell know. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's Give them May flowers and nah. I. For sure, yeah. Don't wait till I'm missing. <laughs> you action, know, like. I need y'all to know how much I love y'all before <laughs> yeah. I'm gone. Hell yeah, it's always good to know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'll be like, damn, they wait for that motherfucker to pass away. It'd be like, man, I love you, dog. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. this shit be crazy. Now, I, um, my shout out going to be, or my salute, is going to be, uh, I salute this person um, um recently, but he lost his uh, his sister um mm. last week or whatever. Uh, Lance Davis, my cousin. Oh, wow. He lost his sister, whatever, you know what I'm saying, young age. So I know that's, that got to be hard. She was 30 years old mm. or whatever. So I'm going to shout him out because, you know what I'm saying, he a good dude. Absolutely. We, we talk shit to each other all the time, but he a good dude or whatever. So, you know what I'm saying, hey, shout out to you, man. Stay strong and shit. Keep pushing, man. Like, Absolutely. I know I, I know for, I know barely anybody about how it is to, you know what I'm saying, deal with losses. Mm-hmm. A, a, a person, especially people close to you. Yeah. So, Ooh. man, salute to you, man. Shoot, man. Sorry about, the, uh, about your sister. But, uh. Hey, it's, uh, it's 2021, you know what I'm saying? 2020 was a wild year. Went through mm-hmm. some, went through a whole bunch of shit. So Absolutely. Give me some um, some highs and some lows of last year. What was some some accomplishments you got, or what was some stuff that may might, might have defeated you last year? Um, last year, it was. Thankfully, I didn't lose anybody close to me mm-hmm. due to COVID or anything like that. Okay. Um, I think last year was really good uh, mm-hmm. as far as isolation. Oh, yeah. And just getting myself together. Um, I started working out consistently in May of last year. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like I've been doing really good as far as mm-hmm. consistency this year. I'm going even harder. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I felt like it was a good year to really hone in and complete my project. Yeah biggest thing um because I, I didn't have to worry about going out yeah for sure. i didn't have to worry about nobody no seeing me no nothing. absolutely so i was able to really hone in on that so that was really good for me mm-hmm. um sh- lows i didn't really have any you know what Man, actually good. actually the beginning of last year in january mm-hmm. i really feel like i had covid it was okay. before I mean, everybody had some people had that feeling yeah because yeah. if you if you remember around that time like december january it was a lot of people catching the flu yep, yep. and it was like damn why are these all these people catching yeah, the flu what's yeah. going on and a few months later Yep. Coronavirus. So I think that's what it was. It was the it was one like, of the worst times I ever been sick. I was about to say like how long was it? Because I remember my uncle was like for a whole month. Yeah, it was like, like two whole, weeks. Yeah, yeah. It, it was, was like two weeks. Would you did you have any symptoms that they they be talking about as far as yes, that? I couldn't breathe. Yeah, oh, for yeah, one, had, like yeah. it was like my lungs was about to collapse. I had to go to urgent care and get X rays and stuff done because mm-hmm. it was that bad. Like I've never been that sick before. Hell yeah. But I'm blessed that I got through it. Mm-hmm. Especially, I, I'm I'm glad I didn't panic because if I would have known it was something oh, you yeah. could die from, yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably would have damn near killed yeah. myself yeah, yeah, for from sure. panicking. For sure, because I ain't gonna lie. So when, I'm like, when COVID first had came about, I'm looking. I'm at work one day. I'm looking up the symptoms. Like, damn, I got diarrhea. 
let me see if diarrhea is a part of this motherfucker. Like anything Man. that was going down, yeah, I thought it was COVID. Like, and I had to really like relax because my my um my wife her fucking dad was just scaring the hell out of me, calling me every day about this shit. Like, hey, you gotta make sure you're careful. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't be in this person's face, that person's face. So mm -hmm. that shit had me scared. So. But then your mind can play tricks on you and really have you sick and you all good. That you know too. What I'm saying? That too. But what's crazy about it is my best friend at the time was living in China. Yeah. And so I had already knew what oh, the yeah, fuck was going, going on, on yeah. in China, but it just ain't here here yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it happened fast. Like yeah. it happened. Oh no, fast. it did. Because niggas like America ain't gonna get that shit. All right, black people ain't gonna get that shit. Soon Michigan ass. Michigan won't get that shit. Soon as. All right, ain't gonna waste Detroit. no time. <laughs> then waste no time. That motherfucker hit us hard, man. Hey man, but uh. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who going through that shit is no joke. You know what I'm saying? That shit fucked up. So if you lost somebody from COVID, like, man, yeah. prayers to you and your family. Absolutely. Now, before we get to your whole story and everything, I do want to say, do you uh celebrate Black History Month or you think, like, it's some bullshit we should have, like, a whole year and not just be minimized to a, to a one month? I do feel like it should be a whole year. Yeah. We should be celebrating it all year round. Mm -hmm. Um, But, you know, I'm grateful to have a month where we can't actually just, you know, hone in on our history our culture and everything like that so i'm i'm grateful for that but i'm not like no nah, I, yeah. I just yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. that no nah, yeah. we need to have a whole yeah. like i'm not that yeah. deep into it i'm grateful for, for it sure, and for i sure. definitely participate yeah. i i give homage and yeah, yeah, yeah. i celebrate the culture the best way i can yeah so. and like i said we it's i think it's our job to do that shit with our kids because school i ain't gonna teach about rose Parks and, Mel, and martin luther king exactly you know especially now uh, my children are four and five mm -hmm. so it's like I have to teach them these things because they're not in school, as yeah. for, like as far as physically in school to yeah. actually learn and experience oh, yeah, for these sure. things. So I definitely have to teach them that. Oh, yeah, we hell we yeah. need to teach them. And now, a little known fact, because I'm going to, for the whole month of February, whenever I have an interview, I'm going to go ahead and give a little known fact. So, uh, Three Six Mafia is the first rap group to have an Academy Award and an Oscar. And the only rap group, now just the first, the only one. So, you know, I could have came in as much as Rose really? Parts, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to go ahead and shout out 36 Mafia, Juicy J, DJ Paul. You know what I'm saying? They got that wow. uh, hustle and flow money, you know what I'm saying? I but I heard that. that somebody else had wrote those songs, so I forget my man's name. If y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Let me know. But, yeah, shout out to them for being the first black group to, you know what I'm saying, get that Academy Award and that Oscar. But uh, now, we, you know what I'm saying, get to you. How was it being a young uh, John A.? Like how was like, how was the household? Where you from? <laughs> Mom and dad, siblings. Like how was it at the crib? Ooh, we coming uh, up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a deep one. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, but I, I guess I'm gonna keep it short. I don't want to turn it into no therapy session. I mean, we should go therapist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, no, therapy shot. Like, <laughs> but uh, but no, I came from a very loving family. I had a very big family. My aunt had seven kids. Okay. Um, and by the time I was born, mm -hmm. some of her kids had kids. So, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I had a, a very close knit family. For sure. You know how I go when the grandparents pass along, the family dispersed oh, and yeah, everybody yeah. everywhere. So yeah. that's pretty much that. Um, me and my mom is a yeah. little rocky. Oh, I, I, I did make a song about that on the project, yeah. but um, it's a little rocky. We still a little rocky till this day, but yeah. I'm blessed. I'm not going, you know, complain. Yeah. Everybody don't even have a mama. So, no, you know sure. what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I'm a, hey, I'm one of them. I, you know, so yeah. I'm going to just be grateful about it. Wish things was better, but you know how that go. Yeah. Um, shoot. I was just, I, I was very, I wouldn't say carefree. Mm -hmm. I think I grew up fast. Okay. I left out my mom's house when I was 15. Okay. So, and I had a job. Was, was that because of the whole, you know, kind of yeah. relationship y'all had? Made yeah. You so, she was in an abusive relationship. Okay, okay, okay. And I couldn't be in that household. Yeah, yeah, so I feel, I feel, I feel you. that's when I ended up meeting my best friend, Deja. Just so happened she lived right around the corner from me. Yeah, and we yeah. was going to the same school and we had the same exact schedule. Okay. So that worked out. That was my best friend. I ended up moving in with her. I had a job. I had a car. I was like the first one out of my yeah. friend group that had all of this shit first. Yeah. And it was because I ain't had no choice. Yeah. Because I had to get out here and get it. Hell yeah, for sure. So that was me. Um, I went to DSA, Detroit okay. School of Arts. Okay. Um, I was a vocal major. Within my 10th grade, like towards my 10th grade year, mm -hmm. towards the end of my 10th grade year, I picked up a minor of music tech. Okay. And that's basically down, you know, being down in the studios, you know, yeah. working with different artists and stuff like that. So I got into that. Recorded my first song at DSA. Okay. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, we all know that. You know we gonna the get on that one. for sure. Hell yeah, we gonna get on that because that's that's always funny. Terrible. First time. Whew, terrible. First, first time anything is pretty funny. Yeah. Or and pretty terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, after that, I ended up doing. 
I do I end up doing a talent show where I end up meeting this guy named Olin or actually his name was Darius. Okay. I met him first through a girl that was dancing with me for one of my performances. It was a showcase for Star Factory. Mm -hmm. Uh Brandon was hosting, it was somebody else and okay. um we did that. Her boyfriend really enjoyed my performance and mm -hmm. everything like that. So he ended up in introducing me to one of his good friends and his name is Olin. Okay. And the first night, this had to be like the beginning of my 11th grade year. I had to be like 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or 16 or 17. Yeah. He took me to the studio. I met Olin. We was there all night. Yeah. After that, Olin was like, you want to come back? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I, I'll hit you up when I got the money. For sure. No, don't worry about that. Just oh, come shit. on through. So then after that, we just kept banging song after song, studio session after studio session. He was doing it all for free. Yeah. Um, And that, that was, was my first experience in a real studio, studio. outside yeah. of school. Oh, shit. So your first time in the studio, you was in a real studio. You wasn't like in nobody basement. Well, actually, yeah, it was a basement. It okay. was in somebody's but was basement. Though. But it was legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah, had yeah. a booth. Yeah, he yeah. had all the stuff that he need, needed, uh -huh. the big speakers. It was nice. The okay. Mac, everything. Okay. So it was really nice. Okay, okay, okay. Now, um, did you have any uh, siblings growing up? Any brothers, sisters? I had an older brother, but he's he. We have different moms. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I was the only child for fifteen years, and then mm. my mom had my little brother. Damn, that's <laughs> how my, my brother. My, my brother, my son, fourteen, and he got a sibling that's four years old. And you got one that's one month. Oh, okay, so yeah. So, like, then you just an old head. Like, yeah. They're going to hit you up when you want some money. They want some money. Yeah. For real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, he, so, he's 10 or 11 now. 11. Y'all okay. got a good relationship or? Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. I love my brother. I yeah. love my brother sure. to death. Sure. I, it's nothing that I, I plan for him. Because, okay. you know. When you're old, when you decide to have kids at 40. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Weird, you got to yeah. have a little backup or something. So yeah. I, I definitely plan for him, but we don't talk as much as I wish we, we okay. would. And, okay. you know, he's a boy. Yeah. And he's going, he's 10, he, 11. He's yeah, going so he through that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then with the issues between me and my mom, he don't understand it. Mm -hmm. So he might, you know, yeah, I, yeah, you yeah. never know. So. Now, now with your mom, I, I'm not going to get into this shit because I don't deep dive. I'm not no motherfucking, you know. I'm Therapist. Not, yeah, I'm not that type of person. <laughs> but what's something that could mend your relationship and help it out? What, what's something that you think that can make the relationship a little better, a little stronger on your on your side? All I'm really asking for is a little time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, I mean. But sometimes, I, 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 by me losing my mom, maybe sometimes you got to force that issue. And then if it, then if it don't work, then say, oh, I ain't going to say fuck it, but be like, at least I tried. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. and that I think that happened. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it got to the point where I tried, and it got to a point where it's kind of like you know, yeah. you gotta let yeah. people be people. Yeah, I, sure. You can't change. And then, and, but the only thing that's fucked up about that sometimes, and that's uh, knock on wood, is sometimes a, a tragic, some tragic gotta happen for things to change. Sometimes, absolutely. And I hate. I, I, that's that's fucked up, and I hope it don't. Be like that, but you, sometimes you reading my mind. Yeah. No. <laughs> you yeah. reading my you know, mind. Got a little therapist in me, you know, a little therapy. I side. mean, sometimes <laughs> in order for things to get better, because I, I, I truly feel like she's in kind of like a traumatic situation. Okay. And sometimes things have to die off yeah, 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 for yeah. you to actually see mm -hmm. clear. Your vision has to be clear. Yeah. All that blurriness has to be removed for you to see things straight. And right now, she don't yeah, see it, and it's sure. just kind of like she's. She's older. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't change nobody that's stuck in their ways yeah. or that's used to what they used to. So it's just kind of yeah. like you gotta you gotta live your life and wish the best and just stay positive. Oh yeah, for sure. If shit gonna change. We gonna be we gonna get this relationship <laughs> good on the shop with everybody podcast. <laughs> like, no, no yeah, but no, everybody everything gonna be good. Hopefully, all right. Pray, yeah. for, pray for you and Miles and stuff, and y'all get that relationship right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. For Shout sure. to that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, I was drinking shit. You know, you go, you know, you roll up on on, on show. You know, it's all good. Okay, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. also, let me. Talk to me before, you know what I'm saying, of course we're going to get to the music, but how was life like at the, at the high school? Did you go to college? Ooh, was yes. You, did you give a fuck about college or you like, fuck that? Yes. Yeah, so I actually went to Bowling Green. Okay. Oh, uh, so. Straight out of college. Yeah. yeah. I was there for a year. Mm -hmm. I couldn't afford it anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I had to, yeah, I had to leave because yeah. I couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. Came home, got me a job, got me an apartment, mm -hmm. met the wrong nigga. 
Damn, got we, pregnant. We, we you know how that goes. Yeah, hell yeah, we gonna talk about I that. I mean, we just be about real. No, we yeah, gonna, real. We, we real. gonna call out facts. Yeah. I mean, I still was in school. When I came back, I went to school. Yeah. I ended up going to Baker College. Okay. So I was still in school. I was still, because education is important to me. And yeah. I feel like, you know, everybody does what they need to do at certain times. Their journeys are different. So, mm-hmm. you know, it was just, okay, I'm gonna keep pushing for it. Yeah. I was in school. I ended up getting pregnant, had my okay. first son. Mm-hmm. Um... End up getting pregnant again. Had my yeah. second son. Okay. And then end up going back to college. And I'm in college right now. That's what's up, um, yeah. I'm in school right now for accounting. And I plan on getting my degree next year. Oh, shit. Congrats. Yeah. Yep. We ain't got no clapping. Yeah. Uh, we ain't got no clapping. Yeah. Fast and shit. Yeah. Up, <laughs> what, hold on. One last thing I want to ask you. Because you didn't mention your pops. Oh, my dad. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, shit. Because I'm like, damn. What's up with pops? Dog? Like, no, I love my dad. I just think... um. Everything is good. I, okay, I mean, bad, we bad, had bad. we had a, a reconciliation yeah. about a year ago. Okay, you know, I think with men, it's certain men, not all men. Yeah, um, they're a little bit more lax. Yeah, you know, they don't really understand the benefit of being proactive. And yeah, I, when yeah. I say being proactive, it's just call me. Yeah, see yeah, how yeah. I'm doing. Ask me how my day was. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? That emotional connection just was never there, mm-hmm. so it was just weird for me. Mm-hmm. But um. Like I said, we end up having a very good reconciliation and that's everything right. is real good with my dad. I love yeah. my dad. I understand him better now, you know, because I think that's just what it was. Uh, yeah. have, having to understand people. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but we good. You know, my yeah. daddy was, you know, sexy chocolate. You know, it might be light <laughs> skin, but he is sexy chocolate. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. stay fresh. Still stay fresh. That's you know what I'm saying? Hell so, yeah. you know, I love my dad. I just, had my, I just had my baby girl, so I'm about to be a soft motherfucker. Aww. I got two boys and a little girl. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. Right that's now. That's nice. I, 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 this this Somebody's somebody coming downstairs, and I think this is somebody who don't really like me too much because I talk shit about him all the time on his Uh-oh. show. So it might be him, it might not be him. So we'll see. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he taking one little yeah. step at a time until yeah. he like to make this interest. Hell yeah, hell yeah, yo. <laughs> <laughs> this is him. angry man's in the motherfucking building, man. Hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, we having a good. Uh, I told you. I love you, man. I love you, man. You're a good dude. So, so real bad story before we get on your stuff. He got a show with my uncle. He got a little uh, uh, wake and bake show. Okay. So every time, you know what I'm saying, he kind of look a little Mexican to me. So I always, at work, I, I try to figure out who he could look like that's Mexican, and I crack a little joke on him. And stuff, oh, my dog. goodness. <laughs> so it's all good, though, man. All love here, dog. You family, dog. I knew you since I was a baby, dog. <laughs> Funny as hell. But uh, so back to you. All right, so you, you get out of college. You say you had two kids and shit like that. I'm still uh, working on music, though. Yeah, working on music. But tell me this. As far as when we do music and when we get our whole music uh, um, 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 idea of what we like in music, we always come from our parents. Mm-hmm. So who were some people that you was listening to or liking because of your uh, of your parents or people around you? Who were mm-hmm. some people that you was like liking because of them mm-hmm. before you got your own little ear for music? Well, my dad is an artist himself. So I get my singing and everything straight from him. He sings, he plays instruments, mm-hmm. he's the musician and everything. So I get it all from him. Okay. Um, when I was younger, he would always sing around me. Yeah. Um, and record his music. He'll let me play on his piano. I wish he would have actually showed me and taught me how to play the piano. Yeah. But I mean, it, it was really much him that instilled it in me, and mm-hmm. just going to church with him, it it really just instilled it in me. Um, mm-hmm. but growing up, I had many different um influences as far as people who I just heard and was like, wow, yeah. Anita Baker is one of them. I have an aunt. Third, third show in the row, Anita Baker is missing. She, 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 she a Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. Yeah, classic. absolutely. My aunt, uh, rest, rest her soul, she um loved Anita Baker. Okay. She would play her just all day throughout the cleaning up, Anita Baker. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. You know, even her vibe and everything was just like Anita Baker. Yeah. Like, she danced, she was just vibrant, everything. So, you know, it, it was her. Mm-hmm. It was crazy because my granddad he only listened to country music oh for real but i feel okay. like subliminally that yeah. kind of or subconsciously mm-hmm. that did something for me it gave yeah. me kind of like a variety of of under of an understanding yeah. of as music. hard as you need that shit you can't just be stuck in one genre you yeah gotta, absolutely you gotta go ahead and, and, and branch off and listen to different mm-hmm. things like my dad was a racist but he was still listening to the whitest motherfuckers in the world wow. like he listened to beatles he listened to sting he listened to paul mccartney you spent to drink a little bit oh but, shit. <laughs> it's I'm all so good sorry, no you're good you're good go ahead but he listens to everything, and I think that's why I believe that Snoop Dogg is such a big artist because he listened to all type of music. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And you could tell within him and within his songs that he it wasn't just rap with him, right? And that's why he still 
to me, one of the, the biggest artists, you know what I'm saying, ever. Mm -hmm. Because you could tell from his background, he listened more than just rap. Mm -hmm. You know yep. what I'm saying? So we need that. Like, well, me and Neil Baker was definitely somebody my mom was playing when she was cleaning up the house. Mm -hmm. God, God damn, he hated, but Sade was a good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She, was, she was cold and she looked nice. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Bob Marley, like, different people. I, I didn't listen to rap until I got older. Cause, mm. Cause rap wasn't like my mom and dad wasn't listening to rap, so I had no reason to listen to rap. Yeah, I like I I, I listened to rap when I was when I was growing up. Um, yeah. My mom and dad they they actually like more soul music that they like to play. Mm -hmm. um, my mom actually named me after a singing group. The singing okay. group is called Johnny. Yeah, that oh, was shit, her favorite. Put me on game. I yeah, got, yeah. Put, yeah <laughs> that yeah. was her favorite singing group up. at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Okay, that's what's up. If you don't mind, what, uh, how old are you? I'm 20, 26. Oh, you still young. God but damn. I turn, I'm old. Well, I'm glad that you say that because I feel like I'm about to have a crisis. <laughs> I'll be 27 next month. Oh, come on, and I'm man. I'll be listen, 35 in Listen, June. this is the thing, though. Listen, because it's, it's so easy for y'all to do that because y'all are older than me. Yeah. But when you are this age and you are coming of age and okay. you really didn't get to really, like, Enjoy your youth oh, enjoy your in child. a sense. Yeah, like, so, so it's kind of like you growing up fast because yeah. shit went fast like, for you. Yeah, yeah I, I and then I'm going to look up and be in my 30s and be like, damn, now I want to have fun. Now yeah. I want to be trying to be young and not because yeah. I ain't had time to first sure. go around. Hey, go have you some fun. You leave this motherfucker, go have you some fun. Yeah. Go out there and play some snow and shit. <laughs> <That's me. laughs> well, I mean, shit, that's all we can do right now, right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But damn, that's, yeah, I never thought about it like that because like, my childhood was, it felt long because like I was Shit, my mom and dad was together until I was 13. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it was just a long fucking process to be grown. And it's funny now that you think, back then I was like, damn, I can't wait to be grown or how it's going to be when I'm grown. Now I'm like, damn. I miss being young, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. I, man, the thing, the, the things that you think about when you're young, it's, and yeah. you think like, damn, what is she gonna be like when I'm yeah. 27? And now you back there like, damn, I miss being 12. Like, you feel me? <laughs> like, oh my god. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. So. When you got your own ear for music, you know what I'm saying? We talked about how, you know, your dad was a big part in, in your music upbringing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Neil Baker and things like that. When you got your own ear, who's people you will listen to when you start vibing out to, Ooh. you know, say artists? Yeah. T-Pain. Hold on. <laughs> that motherfucker T-Pain album was cold. Man, what? T-Pain is the GOAT. When he came out with that, I'm sprung. And then he had that, He's I'm a little bit of stripper. And... It was a whole bunch of shit. He dog, was in like. his early twenties. Yeah, I believe he was actually younger than twenty five. People don't know T Pain the same age as me, dog. He thirty four. Niggas really? think he about four. Yeah, T Pain is thirty four years old. You can go ahead and Google wow. that. He 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 just look old. Like he been through a, a hard I life. I mean, he don't look old, but I, I it just feel like it was so long ago yeah. when that shit happened. Oh no, for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you say T Pain? Who? T Pain. Who's my people? Um, some people that I just listen to that I love. T-Pain, Omarion, Usher. Okay. Um, I used to, as far as songwriting, I would listen to a lot of Carrie Hilson. Mm -hmm. um, Carrie Hilson was cold. Yeah. Um, nice, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? The Dream. Dream. Definitely yeah, the Dream. Dream Cole, hell yeah. Um, you know, Lloyd, yeah. all, all, all of the, all of the dope ass, popping ass R and B mm -hmm. artists that was in the early two thousands is really what I, what I really enjoyed listening to. Yeah. Uh, but if I would say, I would say like the top people for me is T Pain, The Dream, Anita Baker, and Tiana Taylor. Okay, those yeah. are my top people for me as far as you know songwriting, yeah. execution on music. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Tiana you know, Taylor made some music that make you be like. Man, I want to go grab somebody, just hug them, Man. and just. You know what I'm saying, she got this voice that's weird to me, like that, just like it it's talks raw. to you a little bit. Yeah, see, I tell you, Cole, like I fuck with her, and her last album was was nice. Like, it was nice as hell. That's like, who don't get they flowers. Yeah, that's yeah. who need to get they yeah. flowers while they she here. Dope. And she got a dope ass relationship, like for real. Like yeah. her and my man's from uh, Iman Shump. Mm -hmm. Like that's a good ass relationship. And like I said, her this song she got with motherfucking um, God damn, what's the old girl name though? Who took Tory Tory Lanez off her song? Um, damn. Scissors? No, 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 no. Light skin, super light skin chick. That I guess she got discovered by Nick Cannon or something when she was like homeless or whatever. Fuck, I'm I'm tripping. Oh, I don't know. I'm tripping, bro. <laughs> I'm a, but she took him off the song after that whole shit. Yeah, you. yeah, after that shit, dog. So she on that song, but it's just one song that they got together, and it's just like, man, this shit, this shit, nice, like for real. And I'm looking up the what's name right now, Kalani. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's another. That's another like artist that I. Yeah. I rock with her. I mm -hmm. rock with her. I rock with her for real. Heavy, mm -hmm. heavy. So you know, what I'm saying you, you know, at the college and stuff. You know, you had your, your your kids and you you in this relationship that you you know, what I'm saying you you said some crazy things about real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like like when 
did you? It might be earlier, but when did you discover that you wanted to be an artist and wanted to be in this game as far as making music? Um, I discovered that while I was in high school. Okay, um, yeah, you, you talk about the, uh, it wasn't yeah. yeah. I think once I switched over to music tech and I got kind of like a taste of mm -hmm. what it would be like to be in that environment and people also in that same vibe as you, mm -hmm. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, this is it for me. Like, oh, yeah. it's something about being in a studio with motherfuckers that's on the same wavelength as you. For sure. That will just have you zone the fuck out Hell on yeah. a different type of high. Hell like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like when you and you and other people mm. are in the studio and y'all locked in. Hell yeah. That's a it's, good, that's a good a, feeling. Oh, my God. It's such an amazing the studio, feeling. Like, it, I, 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 cause I, I dabble in a little rap, you know, a little music. I do a little thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's like that's 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 a that's a feeling doing music or not. When you're in the studio and just creating or watching people create, it's like a feeling. It's just a good-ass feeling. Yeah. It depends on what you're doing, what you like. If you like doing drinking, smoking, chilling, mm -hmm. eating, like, it's just a vibe that's like, it's just a good-ass situation to be in mm -hmm. with the right people and stuff. Like, studio is like the best place to be at, for real. Yeah. And, absolutely. And if you're going through some shit, relationship, life, like, you it's a, a good outlet. Yeah, you will block all that shit out. You know what I'm saying? When you're in that mud because you're trying to create the best music that you can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, go back. I always ask people this question. Mm -hmm. Give me a song or album that you just remember, you know what I'm saying, that like, kind of like define a time in your life. Tiana Taylor's what is what was what is it four or set what was the what was the number? It was the the V1. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That album got me through a breakup. Okay. Every time I listen to that album, I get nauseous. Yeah, damn. I'm not even gonna lie. Because yeah. I was such and I was in such a fucked up place. Yeah. That when I listen to it, it brings me back to that place. Yeah. It's just crazy to me. Yeah. Um, so that's one album. Um, I mean, you got you got those albums that give you good vibes too, like give you good good summer vibes uh -huh. that, sure. that remind you of a good ass summer. Yeah, um, yeah. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Like my thing, you can't. No matter what, or no matter how old we get, Fresh Prince Summertime. Will always gotta be played on the first hot oh, day yeah, of the year. Play you gotta that. play that shit like summertime. It's something that. about that that make me it make you just feel good. Like God yeah. damn, it's about to be warm outside. Yeah. Like, I gotta get some gear. Like you know, like, hey. I gotta get on some chicks. Like anything. Sun, like sun, it make you think sun, about sun, barbecues. Sun. Yeah. Now give me an R and B album or artist that people would be surprised that you listen to. With me, this mm. album to me was dope. And Ray J Radiation. Go back and listen to that shit, dog. No. You look at me I crazy. I can't believe you. He got this song called Melody. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Melody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't yeah, sing. Yeah, I wish yeah. I could. Yeah. But then he got this one called, uh, I think, House or or, or something. Or that, that CD, if you go back and listen to that, that CD, even though niggas sleep on, like, Ray J is, I guess, trash a lot of people, mm -hmm. that's an album that niggas would be surprised that was dope. And my second one would be Marcus Houston, uh, Naked. You know what? I, I, I don't blame you. <laughs> I really Hard. truly don't, don't blame you. And yeah. people on your live laughing at me, fuck them too. No, they ain't <laughs> so they, they laughing. They ain't laughing. There's barely anybody on here anyway. Yeah, but those they, two uh, CDs that was like, it was good if you go back and listen to it. Yeah, so, and you know what? I haven't I haven't went back and listened to those in a, in a minute, mm -hmm. but I believe you. Um, I think one, uh, as far as r and B, I I don't think that there will be any surprises, but mm -hmm. if we say, if you, ask, if you was to ask me what rap, Mm -hmm. I listen to that motherfuckers might be surprised oh, yeah, about go ahead. YG. Okay, the first one. His his out. Al what was it, that album? Uh, the album called My wait, Crazy Life. Or yes. Yeah. Best album of that year. That shit was cold. Hands that down. Yeah, that shit was cold. Best that, album yeah. of that. Best rap that album, album of that time. year. Yeah. yeah. That shit was cold. And I I love T Grizzly. Yeah, T Grizzly. Yeah, I, I like think motherfuckers would be shocked to hear that from me, but yeah. I love T. I love. He yeah. probably like to me. I feel like he's like one of the best rappers out of Detroit. Period. Yeah. And the thing about like him, I respect his hustle and his grind and how he came out of jail. Mm -hmm. Just like you know, what I'm saying I respect them. That too. And, and a lot of people, you know, a lot of people hate on, on, on T, but that's that's when you make it in the game. Niggas gonna niggas who loved you in the come up gonna hate gonna hate you when you shine. Mm-hmm. And it's fucked up, but that's how it is. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Especially from your city. Niggas gonna be like, oh, he made it. Fuck him. Mm -hmm. Or they gonna be talking about, oh, he not in the city or he not in the hood enough. Like, there's always some hate on some yeah. shit once you come up. You the know goal what I'm is to always get out of the hood, but yeah. not forget it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I be so confused why motherfuckers be trying to act yeah, like yeah. I'm wrong for leaving out the hood. Yeah, you think I'm about sure. to make all to. this money and come yeah. up and still stay on Wayburn? For sure. Hell yeah. You gotta get the fuck and out of here. And Whittier? 
Hell no, yeah. No, so y'all come rob me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Because y'all don't want to be happy and supportive of me. Man, for Hell sure. No, I'm up. Sure. I'll be back. Now, before we get to your project, tell me this. Give me your first CD that you stole or paid for. Oh, shit. Mm hmm. You know what it is. First CD I paid for, I would have to say, was the Chris Brown CD. Yeah. The very first one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the very first one I think I paid for. Okay, the first yeah. CD. Your first... Now, you said you, you like Usher. Mm -hmm. And you said Chris Brown was the first CD that you paid for. Mm -hmm. I had this argument with my cousin about who win the versus battle between Usher and Chris Brown. Man, that's not fair. No, it's not fair for Chris Brown. Because Usher confession album would destroy a nigga's whole catalog. <laughs> that album with by itself fucking niggas over. Chris Brown got don't get me wrong, Chris Brown my favorite my favorite young dude. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I don't consider when I when I when I, when I think about R and B, I think about R and B like niggas blowing, niggas singing. You know what I'm mm -hmm, saying? Mm -hmm. To me, Chris Brown is more of a pop artist mm -hmm. than anything. He can come out with some good R and B songs, but he's more of a pop artist. When you think about straight up R and B, I think about niggas like a uh, Usher. Um, niggas hate to talk about R Kelly, but R Kelly, motherfucker, like back in the day, if you want to go Tay Pendergrass, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas who can really sing to you, Marvin Gaye, like niggas who can really hold a note. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's why I say. Nowadays, we don't have those type of artists that we can go back and listen to when we get old and be at the barbecue. Yeah, but a part of that, too, I think is because a lot of motherfuckers that do R&B don't be consistent. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a point in time where you get to a certain level uh, of stature and be real up there as far as an R&B artist. And your team can easily be like, it's time to switch to pop. Yeah, for That's sure. what's paying. Yeah, it is. That's what niggas is. is buying. That's what da 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 mm -hmm. And sometimes, depending on what, you, what your goals are, how much money you're trying to make, you gonna flip over. And I think that's what Usher did. Yeah. Now, if Usher stayed a strictly R&B nigga, yeah. then yes. Yeah. But he didn't. Just like Chris Brown, he yeah. didn't. Hey, like Neo, he switched over to pop. Neo, they all got, yeah. they all had dibbled and dabbed in it. Yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? For so sure. it be, it's real difficult to say who will win in that in that in that respect because it's not difficult for me. I mean, but, but you gotta think you gotta think about what era of yeah, Usher. Yeah. Ah. I mean Usher from the nineties up until two thousand what? Shit, what? Because when, right now my old oh, oh two, oh one? Somewhere in there. So I say uh, from now to oh four, like it his I think the only person because they were talking about Justin Timberlake, he'd destroy that nigga. Like, against who? Against who Chris Brown? No, Usher. Oh, Usher, Usher and, Just, and JT. I mean, but they. It, it, it depends I, on what bag he pulling from. He pulling from his, you know, his group bag, and like I don't know. I just, to me, I think after R. Kelly is Usher for me. Those are two. Those are two niggas right there for me. Yeah, I mean, you know you, you don't got niggas sing. I think I feel like nowadays, as of right now, Lucky Day is the only nigga that's really Damn. singing. Yeah, Lucky Day Cole. I, I like I like Daniel. Uh, um, Daniel Caesar. I mean, but who really singing? Yeah. You gotta like, like you feel me? Yeah. Like who on they Tyrese hard. shit? Who on they sweet Hold lady on. shit? Yeah, Tyrese get slept on. You a feel lot. me? Like that's the type of R and B. Yeah, that's, that's the that type good of shit. singing. A tank, motherfucking. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, back then, yeah, that's that good shit that you can re you can play and motherfucking you know do what you gotta do with. We got you know a lot of re we have a lot of recording artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. That's 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 a difference. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You ain't gonna have that artist that touch your soul for real. Yeah. Not no more. No. I, I'm trying to get that. I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to be that artist. No, your project, your project was cold, and you know, speaking of, when you got to your bed, like, what's the, what's the first song you remember, like, like that you wrote? Well, the first song that I wrote fully that was just me mm -hmm. was a song called Dream Girl. Okay. And actually, I think Olin Olin helped with like background vocals and kind of like guiding me a little bit because that mm -hmm. was the first song I recorded outside of the studio at my school. Mm -hmm. But as far as my own like lyrics and everything, that was the first song. Any song before that though, I did write. Okay, for sure. I never, I never really wrote with no writers or yeah. anything like that until I met Olin because he mm -hmm. writes as well. Okay, okay, so y'all just collab together. Yeah. But okay. I would do majority of the writing. Okay. Um, he would kind of chime in when mm -hmm. I would get stuck or when For it was sure. necessary or to throw out an idea or something yeah. like that. But I always need that though. Yeah. Yeah. What's your What's your writing process? Do you got here a beat? Do you got a topic? Do you got have a a, a a maybe a situation? Like what's your What's your whole writing process when it comes to writing music? Um, 
well to be honest i wish it was different but the way that i do it is i have to hear the beat mm -hmm. like i would have to hear the beat and i would just have to it would have to resonate with me okay like it would ha i would have to find a melody that feels comfortable normally like i i will look for the cadence first yeah, yeah, yeah. so if i hear a beat like i'm in, i'm in, i'm immediately freestyling okay. just all, just with cadences yeah, different cadences yeah, just yeah. to come just to see what stick what sound right and then i will revisit it with the lyrics okay okay um, um, because yeah. sometimes you know nowadays shit is about melody yeah, shit sure. is about cadences Hell yeah um the lyrics definitely matter but you can snatch a nigga you can snatch somebody up real quick off your cadence before your lyrics nowadays yeah. hell yeah for sure that's a fact that's a rap that's what singing that's yeah, what anything, anything shit god damn so that's hell what yeah. i try to focus on in the beginning is the melody the cadence i'll listen to it i don't have to be in the studio mm -hmm. shit i wrote one of the songs on my project in my bedroom literally on the floor yeah like hell i was yeah. coming in the house i was coming in the house from what the grocery store or some shit um i got sent the beat yeah. And I just start humming shit from the oh, yeah. car. And then to you the gotta house. write immediately. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. And I and once I got that melody, I said, Hell yeah, I would start writing the shit. Then I start record voice recording yeah. the melody so Hell I won't yeah. forget it. For sure. You I got was to. like, I gotta catch this. Hell yeah. Well so what's some things you need in studio? You know, some some people need drinks, some people need motherfucking weef reefer. You know <laughs> I yeah, people. I need I need me a blunt. Yeah. I, I, I need me a nice blunt Two or three I mean one or two is good yeah. You know what I'm saying I did learn Cause I used to work When I used to work With some other guys In the studio After I was working With Olin They would always have drinks Yeah And That's so I I have grown To enjoy drinks While I'm recording yeah. It does like Loosen me up a little bit yeah, Kinda yeah. get me out My element And not feel as um, Shy To mm -hmm. like Try different shit Yeah for sure For sure So I mean I need to have a couple of blunts yeah, hell yeah. and That's i need, need to have <laughs> some nice hot tea yeah for sure and hell a bottle of water for sure and i'll take a couple shots of some douce if yeah. you know what i'm saying you hell got yeah. some in there or some you hell know yeah also awesome duke and dame <laughs> duke and dame uh, sponsored a, sponsored you know by what? but not sponsored by duke this actually tastes like what let me know <laughs> It tastes, it tastes like caramel yeah hell yeah hell yeah salted caramel hell yeah some little, oh, okay, little yeah, snickers little that. melted snickers <laughs> yeah, it definitely, yeah. yeah. I can take it for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, I told you before we was we, we recording, Detroit Diamond had, you know, put me up on you and stuff. Mm -hmm. And of course, every time somebody refers somebody to me, I listen to music before I say yes. Okay. My like, damn, that shit pretty dope and shit. Mm -hmm. So you released a project called uh, Since You Begging. Yes. First, how did you come up with the name and... How had the response been for the project? Like, how do you come up with that name since you be, since you begging, motherfucker? So, you I, and listen, <laughs> you said that shit Man. so right. Yeah, you do know, you hear me? Because that's right. exactly what it was. Yeah. A couple, like a year or so ago, <laughs> me and my friends was talking on the phone, and um, they always ask, it's just really my close friends. They always asking me like, "Where's your music? Yeah. When are you gonna drop? Sure. What's going on?" And so it was just like for me, it's like you know. I always thought like, damn y'all, I got this shit. Y'all gotta be patient. Yeah, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I do got kids. I do have to make sure I do For A, sure. B, and C. I got it, y'all. I got it. Yeah. So then it got to a point where I was almost done with it, but I wasn't really sharing it a lot with them. Yeah. Um. And so by the time I I got nearly done with it, it was just kind of like, you know, since y'all begging here. Yeah. Fuck y'all. Since y'all begging and y'all yeah. wanna know what's been going on, y'all wanna know why I ain't got dropped no music, y'all wanna know what I'm on now music wise. Yeah. Here it goes. Since y'all begging, this yeah. is what y'all got. Yeah, this yeah. is what y'all gonna get. Yeah, that's boom boom shit. like that's yeah. just what it was yeah. i feel like though a lot of people thought um it was out of arrogance or yeah. something like girl who begging yeah. ain't nobody begging for yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> but it was just a fun title you know what i'm saying it was fun it mm -hmm. was um it was just really an insider between me and my friends and then also how the the saying came about was when i was in college at bowling green i had a really good friend his name was uh dev okay and well it was like he ain't yeah, still like here, he, but you're right uh, <laughs> <laughs> type shit. but no his name is dev yeah. and like we just silly as fuck his birthday a day after mine we silly as fuck so we used to always talk ghetto real okay. ghetto to each other yeah so every time any one of us would say anything we'll mm. always be like since you're begging yeah, like we'll yeah. just always say it so it was a saying that just stuck with me and then i kind of like set it around my High school friends. Okay. And then okay. it became a thing with for us. For sure. For so. sure. How, 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 how have the response been for the project? It's been really good. 
good. Um, I mean, I think it could be better. Yeah. But I've just been so tied up with work, school, and being a parent that mm -hmm. I haven't really had enough time to hone in on promoting and sure. marketing and doing all of this. I did do a few paid uh, promotions and stuff, but mm -hmm. I think that it's really doing well. I mean, my core fans and the people that are waiting for me and actually listen to my music, I feel like they appreciated it. Yeah, for sure. I think it's doing good. I, yeah, we're yeah. over like a thousand views yeah. on um on YouTube for pick up the phone video. Okay. And I dropped it. When did I drop it? It's been what? Dropped that a couple months. It might have been two yeah. months or yeah, two yeah, and a half yeah. months now. Yeah. Cause so that's, that's, that's the first good. time I I listened to, to RB as I was working out though, cause I'm I knew. That Diamond had sent me a music, so I'm like, all right, I'm going to listen to this boy on treadmill. Mm -hmm. That's why I hit you up right where I was in the gym. Like, this shit dope. Like, when you want to come on the show? Mm -hmm. So we do this thing called Top 3. So you got to do your Top 3 off the project. So I'm going to go with Mines. Mines is uh, uh, Pick Up The Phone. Okay. And, but I want to understand, on Pick Up The Phone, have you ever uh, apologized when you was wrong? Yeah, I have. Pick Up That Phone, motherfucker, say, I'm sorry, Craig? Yeah, I have. Okay, okay. I have. That, I, that's gotta be hard cause I don't ever really hear chicks. absolutely yeah, females don't really apologize for shit cause like, why <laughs> nigga <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up like shit you gotta apologize to me god damn it no 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 I'm joking I'm joking I, I don't know I mean I get it yeah. I, I get it on both ends as a woman I get how yeah. we can be stubborn I get how we can be very prideful yeah. um, but, I, but I also understand how important it is to take accountability yeah for sure you Got know what I'm saying like you on might both ends. exactly you might be wrong so yeah. just say sorry damn so, yeah, yeah you got to shit but you don't really hear chicks really saying I apologize I'm sorry motherfucking yeah. Craig I'm sorry Craig yeah. like I did you wrong yeah. I did you dirty like well let me let me start let me be the the the, the uh, person that promotes it yeah. hopefully they start listening and following yeah. me be like let me try this so my my top three like I said pick up the phone all the crews and all night those are my yeah. top three on, the, on, 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 on what's your top three and why my top three is still high mm -hmm. how to act mm -hmm. That was uh, high. Was, was was nice. And I like all night. Cause you talking crazy on that boy. A little I bit. Love all night. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. A lot of bit. Low key. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I love all night too. But it would be it would honestly be between all night and um and um motherfucking um why can't I think? I don't know. <laughs> The song about my mom. Okay, what was what, what was the name of that one? Um, choose me. Sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah, That's so your top it, three. yeah, it, yeah, that would be my. T and all, the reason why I'm stuck between choose me and all night is because choose me, I actually produce a little bit more mm -hmm. than half of that beat. Okay. So I feel I'm proud of myself yeah, yeah, about for sure, that. For sure, for sure, um, for sure. So that that's probably why. Okay, so that was your top three on the, on yeah. the, on the album. Yeah, that's my top three. Because when I listen to shit like. I'm like, damn, because a lot of times you listen to people's music, like, all right, it's, it's all right. Shit was pretty dope, though. Like, you got to listen to a uh, motherfucker, uh, Sugar. <laughs> it, it, I, you know what? I'm glad I'm glad that you say that. So, I do want to ask you a question, even though I know I'm the one being interviewed. She asked me. But do you feel like, as a man, mm -hmm. this is something that you would that you would feel comfortable listening to? Hell like, yeah. Because, think about me, though. I, I love R&B music. Mm -hmm. I could be at work and niggas think I'm listening to motherfucking DMX. I'm in this bitch listening to the right. softest stuff. Yeah. So, I like Brandy. Like, Brandy's new album was cold. I think it was cold. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. What you about to disrespect, Brandy? <laughs> like, I, I feel disrespect come out your mouth like before it came out. Like, no. Damn, like, I love Brandy. It, I love Brandy too, but I think what it is is that I feel like she's kind of scared to step out of yeah, that box. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like the whole project really sounded like a pre course. Yeah, yeah. So, the whole thing. Yeah, with me, I ain't, ain't about rap. I, I like I like to listen to stuff from a woman, uh, you know, same point of view. Mm -hmm. But I like I like Brandy. I love Brandy. Uh, her. Her okay. cold, her yeah. cold as hell. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I mess with, I mess with her. Uh, what's ain't just uh, release some stuff? Jasmine Sullivan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, I listen to the females like for real, like mm -hmm. and be some dope ass music like mm -hmm. for real. Now I ain't gonna lie, I don't listen to female rap because you know what you gonna get, man. So it, like the last female rapper I like, and she ain't really a rapper. Is, is Lauren Hill? I mean, so you don't think Meg is out here killing it? She is, but I can't really be like, what that shit? Bye, yeah, yeah. I can't be. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. No, I feel you. You know I what I'm saying? You. Like, I, I can't. The last female, like, damn, I can't. I like Nicki Minaj when she was first was with Young Money. Mm -hmm. When it was like that Gucci Young Money era. Like, I like that. But when she started getting to her little shit, like, I'm, 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 yeah. I'm off of it. Yeah. I do like, um, damn, what's old girl be rapping? Uh. She rap damn near like Kendrick and J. Cole, dog, and it's fucked up that I forgot her name. 
Tierra, no, it ain't Tierra Whack. She, no, she cold. Yeah, Tierra Whack is. I like girls like that who just rap like, like it ain't. Damn, I'm, I'm, I'm a, she, name start with the shit. I don't know. She, Miles she fuck with uh, she fuck with Kendrick. She fuck with Kendrick. Kendrick. She, she a part of they, uh, they whole crew, dog. Like, oh, you are you talking about Dreezy? No, but she nice too. Mm. Yeah, but I, I fuck with I fuck with females like as far as the singing part, rapping. Yeah, you, know, you gotta be able to talk about more than just be like, I got this motherfucker. You know, what I'm saying this wet ass pussy. Like, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying like, let me know how you how it was for you growing up. Let me know the hardship that you had. Let me know the grind. Oh, like, okay, I get I get you, what you're mi saying. But you still mix your shit in because you know what's gonna sell. Like Lil Kim, you know, what I'm saying Foxy yeah. Brown. Like you know that sex gonna sell. Yeah. But let me know what what let me know your 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 your, your life. Like mm -hmm. what you going through and shit like that. All right, so let me tell you, I ran on IG. You know what I'm saying? When you was pregnant, you know what I'm saying? You lost your voice. Listen. I like y'all. Like I like when you come in the podcast, I do my you research. You feel me? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. So you lost your voice or whatever when you was pregnant. Did you, uh, you know what I'm saying? How, how did that affect you? And did, did you feel like that was, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that messed you up as being a singer? It did. I feel like it did. Um, so I was pregnant with my first son. And one day I just tried to sing in mm -hmm. my falsetto and nothing came out. Yeah. Like nothing came out. And then it just got to a point where it was like I it was very difficult for me to sing. Okay. That actually was the time I fell in love with songwriting. Yeah, Because sure. I didn't have my voice anymore. But the overall effect is my voice is way deeper that, than you, what it was It's crazy because like on your... So th that's what I was gonna say. Was that the reason why you had the gap in between the projects? Yes, that's one of the reasons. Okay. Yeah, and that's what I was gonna say. Like I could tell, like from this project to the first one, you could tell, like, is it, it your voice is deeper? You know, what I'm saying it sounds a little better. Yeah, it's, and, you can hear the growth. And you probably talking, and you talking about a little bit more of what you you going through on, on this yeah, one now. Yeah, it's more mature too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you agree with that then? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like I've grown a lot, like. It took every. It took a lot for me to put the first project up on on streaming platforms because of the growth. You okay. know what I'm saying? And hearing it now is just like, oh, yeah. oh my god! Like yeah. my writing is better, my singing is better. Like I mean, better in a sense. I, yeah. It is sometimes I do wish that I I had a lighter voice just so that I can hit certain notes without so much yeah. pressure and so much you know sure. um, strength like trying to do it, but. You know, I'm grateful, and I'm learning to work with it. I'm learning how to finesse with it. And right mm. now, that shit popping anyway. Hell yeah. Like, so I'm not really as discouraged. Um, sometimes singing live can be a little discouraging for me okay. because of how deep my voice is. Um, and because, you know, when you sing low, you have to have a lot of, of, of diaphragm strength. It's harder to sing low live than it is to sing high. Mm -hmm. So it's al that's also something that I'm trying to master because in a minute I'm about to be doing shows. Yeah, for sure. So it's like, you know, it's no excuse. I got to get going. I got to yeah. make sure it's top notch. Hell yeah, yeah. So what, like, what made you come back like between have, dropping those, those those two projects and being that big gap? When would you comfortable with coming back? Like, you know what? I'm good. Fuck that. This, this, this voice sound good. I'm back. Um... I just started recording again. I yeah. mean, this project took me about two years okay. to actually complete. Mm -hmm. So within that time, I was just finessing. I would go to the studio. I would, you know, play around with shit, see yeah. how shit sound. I had this little studio set up in my basement. Yeah. So it was easy access for me to do it. I know how to record myself and shit. So it was really easy for me to go ahead and try different shit. Sure. And then I just end up getting comfortable. And yeah. I'm like, I... I was very self-conscious about it at first, yeah. but I'm like, fuck it. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, I can't keep holding on to music. I nah. can't keep having people wait, and it feel right. It's been seven years. Seven seems to be my, my lucky number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's just kind of like, why not? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Was well, you that person who just sing on the fly? Because I felt like, I remember one summer I was in Ohio with my, uh, me and my little brother was in Ohio with my cousin and stuff. And then my cousin, you know saying, who she was married to, his cousin was in town. And this nigga was getting all the girls by just singing. Like, damn, mm -hmm. niggas just turn around like, hey, girl, how you doing? Like, no. damn, I'm mad as hell. Like, I no. want to be able to sing to your ass and just do a video. <laughs> no. I've never used singing as a pickup. A tool? Yeah. Like, oh, no. I've never been like, yeah, I can sing. Like, to try See, to as a dude, though, as a singing. dude, you about to use that as a pickup line. No. I don't, I, I, I don't really like singing on the fly. I'm not going to lie. I don't like singing yeah. on spot. I mean, it's something that I have to get used to. For sure. Because it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just something that I'm not comfortable with yet. For um sure. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I, I, I really don't use it as anything. Normally, if, if, 
if a nigga was to find out that I sing, it's just because he found out. Yeah, so you ain't you ain't putting out there like I no, sing. No, I'm not. No, because I'm not. I don't. I'm not trying but to get with nobody to. Say, you know how you know how. I, I, you know how crazy that be like you about to get down y'all you, you know what I'm saying we in play ship and then your girl start singing to you like no you and I don't like that either like don't <laughs> be asking true. me to sing all the time like can you sing this that be a little like, different like, no. right there like, that be, be a little different bag right there <laughs> but some people like it though some people some females like that shit yeah. some females will use that shit and will you know wouldn't yeah. mind they'll For sing sure. to your ass on the spot you wanna hear something baby hell yeah but here, go ahead <laughs> you know? girl go ahead you know that shit might be that might be that might be that some, might be some that shit. Shit. Nah, I'm straight, but <laughs> y'all can so have that. Do you plan on dropping uh more music this year or are you just focusing on pushing this project? I'm really focused on pushing a project and kinda like, you know, doing more performances and networking and just getting the shit out there. Honestly, I feel like if the right person hear it, it's over. Like yeah. it's just gonna I feel like it has that. I'm very confident yeah, about sure. it. There are things I feel like that could be better, but I do feel like it needs to be pushed right now. So yeah. I'm really trying to use all my spare time to do that. Mm. Um, but I am still in the studio. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm still working. I'm still trying to, you know, doing features. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, different things like that. Just to keep my creative juices flowing. Yeah. Make sure um, y'all check her out, too. It's app, app, like I said, Project Dope as hell. Mm -hmm. I ain't just saying that because she right next to me. <laughs> I wouldn't have her on the show. I hope not. Like, because no. I, I, listen, I love constructive criticism. No, no, no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that shit because I wouldn't have you on the show. Like, oh, she trash. I'm good. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That was dope as hell. So like you got two boys, you got two sons. Like, is being a mother do it affect you as being an artist? And like, are you able to put the work in you want to, or is it about timing? It's about timing. Yeah. And let me tell you something. I hate when people say, "Well, I mean, if you really wanted to do it, you just drop, drop with all that other shit you doing. Do it, mm -hmm. do it. If you just get stick to it and put your all." In it's not, it don't happen like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And what I'm trying to represent is, I'm trying to represent for the mothers. Yeah. A lot of times you hear women coming out at their 30s, yeah. mid 30s, late 30s, like I had kids, I had to sacrifice. Yeah, for sure. I couldn't do this. And that shit be real. Yeah, yeah, Having yeah, yeah. children is a sacrifice. Five, especially yeah. when you're taking care of them by yourself mm -hmm. and you're doing it all the time thankfully i have the help now that i prayed for at yeah. the beginning yeah, yeah, but yeah. you know it was a time where it was just me yeah, for and sure, my for kids sure. and yeah. i can't just up and take them here i can't yeah. just stop what i'm doing i don't have that village you know what i'm saying so for it's just sure. kind of like don't tell me i gotta drop yeah. everything so yeah. what i'm doing is oh, any spare time that i have i'm dedicating it to my art yeah, hell yeah. and it's going to pay off. Sure. And I'm going to yeah. be able to say, I did this shit while being a mother, yeah. while being a full-time student, while being a full-time accountant. Yeah. What's up? And you was on the best podcast ever. And I was on the best <laughs> podcast out of Detroit. Hell what yeah. the fuck you mean? Hell yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, that's what's up, though. That's what's up. So you said you got that help that you needed as far as the, the whole parenting shit? Well, no. I have, you know, their godparents help me. Okay. Um, Their grandmother helps me out. You know, certain people, yeah. is family. Um, need that. Need yeah. That. So... I, I got what I need right now, and That's I have the I have the flexibility. You know, a lot of time, right? It's a lot of women that have children that work a strict nine to five or work yeah. corporate for corporate businesses, Hell yeah. and that's very difficult, yeah, very yeah, difficult. Sure. And I'm know. blessed enough to have the flexibility to be with my kids to still get paid. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? To make sure they're getting to and from school and still be getting paid. I don't have to worry about clocking in. I don't have yeah. to. That's stressful. I've been through that, mm -hmm. and I'm blessed to not be at that point. And I'm trying to put in my work now that I'm where i'm at you know yeah. as far as my personal life for sure for sure for sure so it's difficult though now that you, should be hard on your writing side mm -hmm. as a writer how do you decide if it's a, if it's a song you keep or a song you trying to give to somebody oh my god you feel me like that's that's the one like damn that shit cold <laughs> i'm stingy as fuck you <laughs> hear me don't you give me niggas a, 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 a c word like <laughs> let me tell you i fell in love with songwriting when i lost my voice the first song i ever wrote was called drown and it was for dmk okay. it's a girl group here from detroit dmk okay. okay and i wrote for them i wrote the song i referenced it sung it recorded it went to the studio watch them act i've like vocal engineered them yeah and to hear them singing my lyrics yeah. it amazed i got chills do not do you get jealous sometimes like damn like they singing my shit like you know what i'm saying no i did at first though yeah, yeah like yeah. before i actually heard somebody sing my shit i was yeah. like that i felt like that like hell no nah. Yeah. Like I was t like the thing about it was my uh my producer at the time Olin, he was trying to push mm. push um getting shit like um 
sending shit out and getting shit placed, mm -hmm. getting songs placed. For sure. And I'm like, no. Yeah. The fuck? I'm yeah. writing this shit. Yeah, yeah. I want my songs. I'm right. This is personal shit. This yeah. is from the heart. I want this. I don't want nobody singing this. For sure. And it pissed him off. And it is something that I regret because it's the same kind of high for me. Yeah. And I didn't realize that at until, first. Yeah, 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 until yeah. it actually happened. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't get jealous or anything like that. I yeah. mean, now it's like if I'm writing something from from somebody for somebody else, I normally have that mindset. Okay. So I'm not getting emotionally attached yeah, with yeah, a song yeah, that I sure. would want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. So so as a as a, as a as a writer, you know what I'm saying, what's the steps that you take as far as like writing for somebody? Do you gotta have like a uh I gotta tell you like you know what, I've been going through some shit with my girl or I've been going through some shit with my man, like how do you put the song in place? Do somebody gotta give you a a a, a story of what they going through or is like you think about something outside the box of what you're going through. Like, damn, this 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 girl might be getting cheated cheated on, or this girl going through some shit. Like, how do you write shit for people? Well, they can give me an idea if they want. The main thing that I need at the very minimum is what do you want it to be about, or mm -hmm. what kind of song do you want? Yeah. You know, do you want like a slow song, sexy song, yeah. relationship? Fuck these niggas. What? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> if you want to give me a back drop yeah, of what's been going on that you. helps mm -hmm. it'll make it more personalized for you maybe you'll love it even more mm -hmm. but if you want me to just come off the dome with some shit off of a topic or a word or a feeling that you have mm -hmm. i can do that too okay um it's been times where i've been in the studio and i've actually we've actually sat down and and they will tell me what they've been going through and we'll just have a conversation mm -hmm. like let's just talk first what the yeah. fuck up yeah, like yeah, what you've sure. been going through da, da, da. and all the while we having this regular conversation i'm taking notes yeah 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 um, Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Forty-five minutes later, play the beat. Hell yeah. There you go. Hell no. I'm on your ass. <laughs> Let's do it. What yeah. you want? Oh, okay. Yeah. How about this? Yeah. And then we get in and we do it. Hell so yeah. it all really depends. Or I can do it by myself. I can do it by myself. Write that shit. Record that shit. Send it to you. How you like it? For sure. You know, sure. you got your reference. Yeah, yeah, And then yeah. you can go re-record it if you want me to be there to help you do some shit or, you know, because I love vocal engineering. Yeah. Like, I really want to go into that shit. Okay, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, you should. Yeah. Hell yeah, go ahead and give as many bass as you can, mm -hmm. god damn it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So, we were talking about this earlier. You were talking about, like, writers you look... Who are some writers that you look up to as far as, like, on the writing side? The Dream, yeah. T-Pain, um, Rick James. Mm-hmm. Um, man, <laughs> James had that pen. Hell yeah. Um, Jonte. Jonte Austin gets slept on. Yeah. He 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 beat the fuck out of motherfucker. Uh, I ain't gonna say he beat the fuck out of, but he beat that nigga Neo in the verses about before it got popular. Before it got popular, that nigga wrote some shit that motherfucker slept on. Like, damn, you wrote that shit, cuz. He like, did. That's some shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. As of right now, like my my newest new newest uh writers, mm. her name is Nija. Okay, and I heard about it. And her. I think I, I'm, I'm pronouncing it right. Oh, my God. When I tell you inspiration. Yeah, hell yeah. Man. But, like I said, my top, T-Pain, The Dream, mm. Tiana Taylor, mm. I have to be in a room with them. Yeah. Wasn't it it's a good songwriter, too, though? Uh, Neo. Because he, mm -hmm. he was on some, on his right. No, mm -hmm. what's my man name who look kind of weird, dog? Who, um, Sean Garrett. He made yeah. yeah he he pretty good he was drunk as fuck that he one is. time he went against the dream yeah. dream destroyed that nigga too low kid yeah <laughs> he was pretty dope though he mm -hmm. was pretty dope as hell I'm I'm I should get into this shit though like I'm a, I'm a write for motherfuckers dog on some R and B and rap shit dog see how it be, how it be mm -hmm. so you know say if I got the right song I'm gonna send it to you and see how you feel about no, it no for real and I want to be I want to start working with rappers yeah, yeah 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 like if you think about it rappers really need these motherfucking cadences yeah. these melodies mm -hmm. they need them for sure. like period and i spit them i spit it out yeah, yeah, yeah. and if i can spit out a melody or a cadence that'll set off a hook for you and you a rapper yeah, yeah. and you rapping that shit that shit yeah. will be cold well i am dropping one album you know what I'm saying next uh what, what did i say this year i think this year and yeah i'm gonna call you you know what I'm saying? we linked in now you came on the show so you know you tied into me you don't know it but you know let me know <laughs> let me know mm -hmm. So, do you make better songs in a happy relationship or in a bad breakup? Mm, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess if I really look at it, I would say a bad breakup. Yeah. Like, I and I feel like it's just, a, it's a fuel mm -hmm. for me. Um, this project was, was a I told you so type of feeling when it came to that. Like, mm -hmm. as far as a breakup. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For me. Mm -hmm. Um... And I feel like, yeah, when I'm in my feelings, I'm way more potent. 
okay. with my words. Yeah. Because I'm going to just tell you Hell what yeah. the fuck is up. And you're going to hear it. You're going to feel it. Yeah, but that's funny, though. Like, niggas always do their best when they going through a breakup. You work out. You mm -hmm. get, try to get strong. You try to eat healthy. Like, yeah. niggas try to do the best they can do. Why is that? Like, why we can't Because you got to start focusing on yourself. That's why. But to me, my, my, my thing is, I'll come back to you with this. You can still do that in a relationship, too. No, you can't. Why not? Because you're consumed with it, you're consumed with someone else. You're consumed into something else. See, when you're with someone else, else half of yourself is gone. So what uh, what what else are you giving your other half to? You got kids. Yeah. That's part of your other half. Mm -hmm. You got what else? A job. Your podcast. That's yeah, part of your sure. other half. Yeah. What else do but you even? Really I think have? even though with that, you still got find time for self. Even but in how, you do, but how much time? Shit, that's the thing. <laughs> it's different when I'm cutting you out. Mm -hmm. Cause now I got all this time. I ain't focused on. I got all this time over here. Yeah. Now <laughs> I can focus on me. Now I'm about yeah. to get right. Mm -hmm. Now I'm about to look right. Get my mm -hmm. mind and body right. Cause yeah. I ain't worried about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now a lot of times, motherfuckers might be doing it out of spite. Oh yeah, I'ma get right. I'ma yeah, I'ma show this hell nigga. Yeah, it yeah. might be out of spite, but that's their reason. Yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? Yeah. But if you on your shit, you know yourself. Your reasons would would be to get yourself. Together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but yeah, you gotta be able to build together. I, because though. if you're not building with me, then how are that, we gonna build together? Yeah, but that's about why did we break up? Yeah. <laughs> why did we break up? That's what, that's what yeah, we that's need to be asking. Got, that's when y'all gotta have a relationship and then be able to talk to each other. Like, listen, you know, one of y'all could be getting overweight. Like, let's do this shit together. It's you know what I'm It can like, be exhausting. Or one of y'all could be like just lacking on what y'all was doing prior. Because everybody, when you get to a relationship, everybody's on the interview mode. You know what I'm saying? When you interview for a job, you're not that person. That's a motherfucking fake you. Yeah. So you're going to interview, you're going to talk motherfucking white. Hello, sir. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But then when you get to the car, like, nigga, what up, nigga? Cuz, mm -hmm. what the fuck up? What the hell is that? Like, you comfy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, everything, relationship is, it, it, all relationships are kind of like an interview stage because yo, that's just your representative, though. I got that from this fool. That's your representative. That's not really you. Once you get to a relationship, that's when you find out you're going to be in this relationship because you're going to see the real person. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, this motherfucker eat loud. This motherfucker be smacking. Like, this motherfucker sleep crazy. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's how it's going to be and shit. So I did mo digging. You know what I'm saying? Used to like acting back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Come on. Come on now. The shower for anybody. You know what I'm saying? I do my thing. What you put? I, I, I search. You do. You know I like that. Yeah. Come on now. So is that something that you uh, that you would think about doing full time? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, listen, I got so much shit on my bucket list. I am yes, I definitely want to do acting. Yeah. I want to. I, I want to go to some classes. I actually just hit up Thomas Harris. Yeah, he was on the show. Yeah, he was on the show. Yeah, and he's actually because I was in a group called Teen Hype. Yeah, and he was actually one of the acting coaches. Okay. Um, dope dude. Yeah, cool dude. and I definitely want to want to get back into acting. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I I want to do a fifteen minute uh comedy stand up. Oh, you! Oh, she got some comedy in you. Absolutely. Hey, low key, we about to have this little. We about to start this. We get together with family and shit. <laughs> and we, uh -oh. about to have, we you know you have game night. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We about to have comedy, comedy night. night. Yes. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so I like that idea. I got this one joke. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I pitch it to these niggas. See, I don't do it like that though. You no, know, but see, I got this little joke. Is it, it real quick? This is some shit like, it say niggas with pride, and niggas with pride. You know what I'm saying? Pride fuck you up. You going to a gas station and get. A, you know what I'm saying? Get some condoms. But then you see some chicks, so you try to be, you know what I'm saying? Got too much pride. So now you asking for a Madden XL. You never had a Madden XL in your life. So now you go home praying that your dick grow. Because <laughs> you got this motherfucker as your condom that you ain't never used. So you like, please let this shit fit. Oh, my God. <laughs> please let this be right. <laughs> because <laughs> you got the turtle dick. They go, <laughs> condom. <laughs> you got motherfucker. What? You got to knock that bitch up real quick. <laughs> Just oh because you saw goodness. some bad chicks at the gas station and you got too much pride. Did you you even go in for that? Yeah, you usually went, you usually get a Trojan, but now you saw these bad chicks in here. Now you trying to be a big man and shit. Now you got mad to mess oh, hell. Lord. And now you scared because you ain't never tried it before. So now you just praying like, please God, let this. Because you don't even use what you, you use. It's a joke, man. No, I'm <laughs> it's a joke. See, I got three kids. I don't know what what kind of is. <laughs> I'm in a relationship. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you you forget with them, Mark. Hell yeah. In a relationship. Yeah, and then you be like, man, this shit, this shit don't feel right. Let <laughs> me go ahead and scoot this mud off real quick. But hey, yeah, that's neither say or done. You know, I ain't say I did that before. You know what I'm oh saying? Oh my God. <laughs> But no, comedy is funny as hell. Like, I always thought I could be a good, a good 
comedian, but I, I might not be. Yeah, I think my thing would be more like just storytelling. Yeah, like sure. I, I I don't have like jokes like. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Not, he went not. to the store. Yeah. He yeah. Saw some fine girls Hell and he yeah. ordered a kind. Con- got an Hell XL. Yeah. That's like, my thing. Yeah, got that I'm, XL. Like yeah. I'm more so like I really be telling y'all some shit that didn't happen. Like yeah. some funny ass shit that I'm, didn't happen with like my friends or some shit that. Didn't, but it'd be like some true ass, just some funny shit. Yeah. Like it'll flow. Like you know, I ain't. I, I gotta sit my ass yeah. down and See, get yeah. into yeah. it. Yeah. But yeah. I am. I can do a shit like that's just me being boy head. Like damn, I remember like how you feel good when you get a haircut. You got a taper. You feel like you get every girl in the world. But then after a while, you be like, damn, the haircut start looking stupid because your motherfucking hairline going back. Like, oh what what happened, dog? Like, then you start crying. When you're in the, like, dog, this shit don't even look the same. Motherfucker, like, you got that, you want that Steve Harvey kit. <laughs> you want that motherfucking fresh line up. That motherfucking Bernie Mac shit. Yo, shit looking like Tory Lanez, how that shit used to be. Like, oh damn. Oh, my God. Oh, dang. My shit, shit. my shit salute from back here, like, damn. And now you like, man, just let that bitch go, man. Fuck, let it go. Let that motherfucker shit go. is kind of bad. It's bad. But if I could pay for uh, a hairline, I would do it, though. No, <laughs> fast. Over Hell yeah. So, with you, you know, we talk about that, you know, with, with the with the acting and things like that. Like, mm-hmm. and then, you know, we talk about the music and stuff like that. And I know you don't really like talking about this, but this is the part of my podcast. I always do this shit. You watch Making a Band coming up. I did. Yeah, you watch Making a Band. So, give me a. I always ask everybody this. If you had to be on the making a band, give me three other artists that you would be that be in your making a band with you. So three other people plus you that make the best making a band. Uh, it would be me. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. Well, do they all have to be like performers? Like we all like our group group, or it's like they it's, all have different parts. Different parts. Okay, it will be me, Tiana Taylor. Mm-hmm. Seven Streeter. People sleep on her. She was cold too. She had this one song. It was real nice. You said three people, right? Yep, yep. So you got you Me, got one more person. Seven Streeter, Tiana Taylor, and probably T- uh, Tierra Whack. Okay. Nice little nice little group. Y'all talking about some shit on that. Yeah. Talking about some heavy shit. Yep. We got a rapper. She yep. also sing. But Hell then yeah. we got our three singers, writers. Yep. yep. Got your, you got your hooks on deck. Yep. Hell yeah. That's yeah. A good- it's a whole vibe. Good group, good group. Mm-hmm. All right, we got just one segment. Young nigga thinking versus some shit I've been through. A lot of times when we young, we think things that's different from a being a duck. For mm-hmm. example, I get this example all the time. Mm-hmm. As a 17-year-old, nigga, no, I'm not eating no pussy. Mm-hmm. As a 34-year-old, yes, I'm going to do it. That's the first thing. Okay. We got to do it. So what's some things that as a young, it ain't got to be that. That's just as an example. Some things that you believed in as a 17, 18 year old that you don't believe now. Um, things that you went about that you like, what was the fuck was I thinking? Yeah. Oh, don't. Don't shack up. Mm-hmm. It might sound right, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because when you young, you feel like half is better than whole. Yeah, for sure. It'll be easier for us to do this shit together, together. Yeah, than yeah, yeah. for me to be trying to do this shit by myself. Don't shack up. But don't do it. But what? Hmm. But that it could be a situation. I know. Cause like, I know. Because what you saying, like shacking up, you gonna wait to move in once y'all married or like a couple years in? I mean, like, how is it? Just. Cause just I had, don't don't do it so soon. Okay, okay, okay. That, that one, yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I ain't, I ain't had some some real quick hitters. And that shit was like, you know what I'm saying, this this was a bad idea. But don't let your first ha- having your own experience mm-hmm. like don't let that first time be the time you shack up. Okay. Like don't let your very first apartment right out of high school you shacking yeah. up with somebody. Sure. Don't yeah. don't do that. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Have your own first. And then y'all come in together because y'all know what y'all doing apart. So when y'all come together, it's going to be even better. It, it's going to seem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be no question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Cause sure. Because everybody didn't have their experience on their own of being responsible. Mm-hmm. In some degree, whether you failed or succeeded, you for went sure. through it, you might, you know what I'm saying? Whatever yeah. the case might, you know now. So yeah, by the yeah, time yeah. we decide that we want to live together, it don't got to be when we marry. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. when we do decide to get together after our separate experiences while yeah. still, what, being together, I guess yeah. you could say. You know what I'm saying? We It'll work seamlessly. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So what, so you and your, you know, you're single, you're single lady right now. Um, it's complicated. Oh, okay, it's complicated. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> so you know what? What got? 
Cause it seems like you and your uh, your kids' dad. I'm not about to get into that because I'm not type. I'm not no gossip mm -hmm. nigga. But what what made your relationship get better, being apart as far as co-parenting? Um. What made it get better? Like was it, it communication? Actually, it actually didn't. Okay, it's still it's still messed up. Um. <laughs> <laughs> still got some 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 room to grow. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I would say maybe literally the last couple of weeks mm -hmm. has been probably the best it's ever been now i asked that to ask this mm -hmm. when you get into another relationship how can that work if you don't mend the relationship with your kid's father if y'all don't get that shit mm -hmm. straight because say for instance I'm, I'm i'm getting with you but then you got a bad relationship with your with your dude it's like i come into a relationship where i'm not even really respecting this nigga mm -hmm. I'm saying like this nigga deadbeat ass nigga or this nigga. How do you like? How do that go? How do that go? Like, do you explain to your your new dude like this nigga piece of shit or this is a work in progress? Like, how do that go? Well, I mean, the issue that me and my kid's father had was the absence, okay, and the disrespect. Mm -hmm. I mean, our issue was never, you know, I'm hurt yeah, or yeah, yeah. you. Like, I never, or, like, these bitches, or yeah, da, 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 da. Yeah, Like, sure. it was never, it, it was that before, mm -hmm. but it was never an issue once yeah. it was an understanding of us co-parenting. Mm -hmm. It was more so an issue of the absence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it was harassment. Like, mm -hmm. he harassed me. Yeah. And my boyfriend. Okay. So, it was just like. See, that's when it get kind of crazy, because a new dude, yeah. like, damn, I, ain't, I just want to get with you. You look good, girl. But I mean, I, but. Got my fucking down on my back, like. Yeah, but <laughs> you, know you, what you, it, what type of nigga are you yeah. or what type of man are you mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because if you know me and you know my situation and you love me beyond that that says a lot about you mm -hmm. and you handle what you have to handle as my man yeah. that says a lot about you uh -huh. um now if he was a different type of nigga of course he probably would have ran yeah you know what i'm saying he probably would have been like fuck this shit i'm not dealing with this shit da 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 yeah but that wasn't the case yeah sometimes it can be a little too much yeah sometimes because like, i mean but I've you been gotta through it. What about women? Yeah, and they niggas baby mamas. Yeah, yeah. See, now that's the thing. I, my, my, my wife I'm with right now. We got two kids together, but my my oldest son is with my high school my high school chick. Mm -hmm. And shit, I made that shit straight like to the point that they friends on Facebook, all that junk. They could talk. Mm -hmm. Like, cause my thing is, my mom told me some jump. You know, what I'm saying she gave me game as far as like if it's ever beef between a father and a, and, a, and, a, and a mother is it means that somebody's not over that person mm -hmm. you feel me so mm -hmm. me and me and my son and mom we know like all right this didn't work out we had a good run we had a good kid but shit, we gotta be cool with each other to raise this this mm -hmm. boy you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so there's no animosity like she gotta do shit god bless her mm -hmm. god bless him yeah <laughs> you know what i'm saying right Cause he can deal with it right that's cool and i you know what I'm saying my relationship as long as my man's is cool when my son come around that's all that matters exactly you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. we can we all good there's been times that me and my wife didn't been over her and her dude dad crib and just chilling drinking mm -hmm. just chilling like, see i don't dope. know what what my what my issue with my kid's father stem from he's the one that yeah. always had the issue for sure Oh, he's the one that fucked up. He still wants you. He's he's the one that all, like you know what I'm saying. He yeah. all, but listen, if you was to say that shit to him, yeah. nigga, no, he he a deny it to the to the grave. Let me tell you something from a nigga point point of view. Nigga can fuck up and still love you. Nigga can fuck a chick tomorrow That's and still weird. come home and still love you because the thing the difference between a man and a woman. A woman when she cheats, she gonna be invested into that that nigga. When a man cheat, even though it's, I'm not saying it's right, that nigga that's just a fuck. But he still love your ass. I'm not saying it's right or it's yeah, wrong, no, but I, it's I fucked got up. You, I got that's you. how it is. Yeah, but so it, he, probably, he probably still want, probably still want some motherfucking Janae. And it's like that's <laughs> weird. Ugh, just the sound of that. <laughs> 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 like you feel me like <laughs> he still want that like, like weird i don't know my me, dudes are weird but listen, we weird my only advice is take care of your kids for Be sure in your oh, no. kids life. That, that's a fact that's it, I, don't, I don't give a fuck about the relationship my son my kids are always gonna be taken care of like i don't think anything will happen with me and my current relationship but if it did my kids is always gonna yeah. be first they first on everything. Yeah, and that wasn't the case. You know what I'm and saying? And that, that was my only issue. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just be in your kid's life. Oh, yeah, for Like, sure. it's not about pay for this, give me this, give me that. I, I work my ass off. I'm good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But the least you can do is be no, available, sure. be a part. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? You got two black young boys. Yeah, for sure. Back yeah, yeah. to back. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, be a part. Teach them. They look like you, too. Yeah, but they look like him too. Oh, yeah, I don't know where he look, but yeah. Exactly, but yeah, if you <laughs> yeah, to see sure, him, yeah. you'll be like, God damn, them yeah. niggas is a spit. 
Yeah. Image. But yeah, they, they do look like me. Yeah. <laughs> and don't nobody know what that nigga look like and don't nobody need to. They look no, like me. I did some searching. I didn't see that. <laughs> I know your last name everything. I went on Facebook. <laughs> I was searching. You know, you got to do your little questions and shit. Oh, so we God. got you one thing. We ended off. I was trying to get to, you know what I'm saying? That shit. I was asking questions. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't be like, this nigga gossip queen. No. <laughs> no. It's okay. No. Don't nobody ever ask me no. anyway. So. so we got just top three. Okay. I give you a category. Give me your top three. Top three childhood crushes. Omarion, Usher. Hmm. Whew, them was the really the only Omarion, Usher, and Genuine. No, Genuine. I didn't like Bob. Genuine had them motherfucker. What that nigga? He had the twisties and shit in that bitch. And those jeans. <laughs> that was my shit right there in those jeans. Stingy and shit. That was, that was my nigga. Man, though. I used to go to sleep off Genuine. Pony and shit. Hell yeah. 100% Genuine. I used to play that shit Hell yeah. and go to sleep and let it play. Hell yeah. Give me your, uh, your top three uh, movies. Money Talks is number Hell one. Yeah. And they say, did he grab you like this? <laughs> like this. That That's is it. my favorite movie. Money no, Talks. Yeah. Classic. Um, Concussion. Okay. Nigga Will Smith and that motherfucker. And... Damn. Your go-to. You got it. You, one of them hood movies. One of them motherfucker. You know, baby boy, come on, you gotta watch it. Shit, you cut everything off of baby yeah. boy. Yeah. I mean, we talking hood move. Well, no, nah, I'll say uh, uh, next Friday. Next Friday. Next Friday. Hold on. Yeah. My dog. Uh, no. Hell yeah, cause I said it. Cause it, I say it go in order. Friday, next Friday, and Friday, Friday three. That's next. how it is to me. One, two, three is the highest or is the best. Next Friday is yeah, the it do go. One. It do go in that order. Yeah. I feel like Friday it go. It do go in that order. See a good person right there. Oh, Fuck you. It do, dude. but I, I I do, but I can rewatch next yeah. Friday over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which one you think is the best out of the three? I mean, one. Yeah. He got one, three, and two. two. Yeah. I see one, two, three. Number two could not exist. Dog, you crazy. That ain't introduction, dog, man. Yeah, that yeah, that introduction to yeah. that was amazing. Hell yeah. Yeah, but all about the Benjamins is definitely kinda uh Hell yeah. hit, like kinda like battling with that like Hell yeah, yeah I'll I take that back. I would say money talks, all about the Benjamins. And concussion, cause okay. I gotta get my my drama, my yeah. deep, my emotional shit. All right, give me your top three TV shows. The Parkers, Moesha, <laughs> Moesha, they and ended, uh, Steve Harvey show. They they ended Moesha off wrong though. Miles went missing. They, they oh, don't it. tell me. I ain't even done watching it all over again yet. Man, well, well that's what ended. My bad. <laughs> Dang. The Parkers though, Moesha, and you said Steve Harvey show. Yeah. Yeah, he finally got with Piggy and shit, though, at the end and shit. But, bro. now that I think, we can kind of battle the Jamie Foxx show with the huh. Steve Harvey. Huh, let me, let me ask you this. Maybe that, even this? the Wayans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe he, even. Yeah, thank you. This nigga said Wayne Brothers is trash. Oh, no, what? Duh. Okay. <laughs> you on crack, man. Wow. Motherfucker Marlon, I mean, I, I, can't, I think, maybe if I watch it again, Imagine I'll... Imagine the Wayans Brothers without Pops. Good. That shit trash. It still be mm. good. Man, mm. disrespectful. He disrespectful. I'm mm. sorry that 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 what you gotta go through with hearing this dude talk about Wayne Brothers. That's a great show, Marlon. I love you, Sean. You a you a good dude, I guess. Pops, rest in peace, man. D D bastard. Dang. God damn it, you crazy, dog. Dupree, motherfucker. TC. Wow. God damn it. I love y'all niggas, dog. Uh, yeah. That's a throwback. Give me your uh, give me your top three moments in life. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you know top is. three moments. One would be when I had my first son. I'm about to say kids could be one and one. You ain't gotta do okay. one to it. So Okay. Um, so giving birth. Okay. Um my first very first performance. Okay. Um and winning prom queen. Oh, that was that was big for me. Yeah. From from my little my my confidence like that was big for me. I wasn't that popular. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even like I think you know what I wasn't popular. I, I was just yeah. cool with every motherfucking yeah, body. Sure. Yeah. I didn't have no problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See yeah. motherfuckers, it was motherfuckers popular, yeah. but had problems yeah, and was just for sure. Hell you, yeah. you know what I'm saying, causing problems and just in drama. See, I knew everybody. Everybody yeah. knew who I was, but I didn't have no issues. Like, yeah. and if you didn't like me, I ain't know. For sure. Hell yeah. 
hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, if you, I say, if you got a problem with me and shit, you got a problem with yourself. You feel me? Like, <laughs> you tripping. Give me your top three food. Ooh, potatoes. I can even uh, tell everything. Uh, shit, baked potato, fried potato, potato. Yeah. mad potato. Yeah. <laughs> Boy yeah. potato, potato chips. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, that's a good one. Potatoes. potatoes. Um, I love spinach, like dips, like cheeses, like spinach yeah. I think you dip. talked about that on the show big before, spinach dip and shit, how you got turned out to that. Mm-hmm, that shit's so good. What's your number three? And ice cream. Hell yeah, but what kind of ice cream, though? Tell me that, please. <sighs> Cause my junk is vanilla ice cream, the blue bunny, and get you some syrup. It I'm used to, to be, bitch. it used to be a chocolate chip cookie though, but now cookie it's cream. butter pecan. But pecan, that's all. I, I think about my great every time I think about butter I pecan. Know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Yeah. See, my junk is cookie and cream, and then I get the little vanilla yeah, junk with the motherfucking I, chocolate yeah, syrup like, and go crazy on that boy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Last one. Give me your top three artists. Rap, sing, or whatever. Your top three artists ever. Mm, ever? Is your, your go-to top three. It ain't got to be a popular opinion, but just your opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I would hate to keep saying the same people. That's all good. Honestly, but I would Nia say... Baker? Uh, she not a go-to. Okay. Um, I keep her in the tuck, though. Okay. When I need to get them vibes. For sure. But I would say my go-to would be like... The Dream mm -hmm. is a go-to. Um, Tiana Taylor is a go-to. Okay. And rap-wise, hmm. actually, no, I would say Snow Allegra. I, I throw okay. Snow Allegra on all the time while I'm while I'm sitting here playing. I I throw her on all the time. Cool, so, cool, cool. Yeah. Hell yeah! All right, well, shit. You know how I said we ended off on a jump moment or a hot moment. Give me a funny story when you was one or both. Oh, okay. So, okay. <laughs> Most <laughs> recent time at my best friend's birthday little gathering, we went to Kalahari. This was in November. Okay. I got drunk. Now, I'm going to tell you the story exactly how the fuck it happened, even though some people going to deny it. Okay. Uh, we was getting drunk, you know, drinking, yeah. smoking. By this point, I'm slumped, but yeah. we are still in a game. Yeah. But I'm slumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so y'all playing a game? Yeah, we was playing a drinking game. Okay. Um, But I'm slumped, yeah. you know what I'm saying, at this point. And so, you know, my best friend's sister, my sister Nikki, and my other sister Kiki, they knew that I was slumped. And they kept on, uh-uh, get up. Uh-uh, take a drink. Yeah, get yeah, up. Fucking you up. <laughs> Man, so I got up, took the drink. I took probably like two more shots. After that, I was I started asking for more. Yeah. Like I was, I, I'm like, fuck it, y'all want me to get drunk? Here yeah. it is, I'm drunk. They got I was rolling around everywhere. Man. I rolled. They had it was a circle staircase in yeah. this Airbnb. It came down like this. Do you know I rolled and tumbled down God all of them damn. bitches? <laughs> Duh, drunk as hell. I was on the floor just rolling. Like I I I sprung my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> um and then I end up throwing up on the floor in the middle of the night. Yeah. And end up getting up probably like an hour later and cleaning it all up. I don't uh, even like I was so fucking gone. Man. I barely remember cleaning it up, cleaning it up. God damn. I was the next day I had bruises everywhere. From from on me? my ass. <laughs> like it looked like somebody beat my ass. Oh damn. And I had they have I have video of me like just like Y'all yeah, wanted me. I was fucked up. I, I've never been that fucked you up. You should send like, us video so we can put this in the caption. I mean, <laughs> nah. <laughs> like, I, you know, it, it it's good footage. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, funny. but I don't know if I want to share that with no, the world. Good. I good. was. God damn, you had bruises, you boy. You know, you I got was by everywhere. Damn. Like, my ankle was sprained. Like I, I could, I was limping. Like, Duh. I was. It was terrible, yeah. and I did it all to myself. Huh. No, drinking? I was drinking Crown Royal. Crown Royal, what like black, or apple, regular apple, just straight. Oh yeah, that get the, I, I that get the taste good. Else. It get the taste good, so you it just do. drink it. it yeah, do. cause that Crown you Vanilla get you together. Yeah, that apple too, because yeah, once it, once you get used to it, it just tastes like apple. Yeah, hell yeah, you like, just drink apple, like huh? Yeah, it's good. It's and I shit. kept asking for, I'm where is that? Hell, dog. Want me another shot? Hell yeah, it was bad. This boy ain't got bruised up. You light skin already, so. You know, more like you in an abusive relationship. Man, shit. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. That's crazy. It was bad. Well, shit, I enjoy having you on the show. Thank you. you know I what enjoy. Saying? You was on here. the best podcast in the world. 
You know what I'm saying? Everybody who come to the show end up just blowing up afterwards even more. So I hope listen. You know you're about to blow up real quick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know but get the people you know saying your socials where they can follow you where they can get the music from absolutely so my ig is john a sky music z-h-a-n-e-s-k-y music uh mm -hmm. you can search me on all streaming platforms google play apple music all of that i got music on soundcloud that's not even on the streaming platform so check that out um mm -hmm. my soundcloud is just john a sky z-h-a-n-e-s-k-y mm -hmm. Instagram, I mean Facebook, John A. Sky, Twitter, John A. Sky, yeah, it's all, all the same, all just up. John A. Sky. Just search me. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And if you had to leave people with some last sentiments, some last words, like "Don't do drugs" or something like that, like what would it be? What I would say is not what you say is how you say it. Okay, good, good shit, good shit. Leave yeah. with that. Quick and simple. Yeah. Quick Easy and simple. Peasy. Quick Related. And simple. You know what I'm saying? You know what you gotta say. Say that shit. Just watch how you say it. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, you got to talk to different people different ways. Hell so. yeah, for sure. My job going to be, I don't know what my job going to be. Usually I try to end up on some crazy, some some little funny shit. I don't know. And I don't know. Like, I'm th I usually have a riddle. Yeah, usually so I go with some funny shit. But I, I guess, like, I don't know, man. Don't be sensitive about the chicks you messing with, man. Like, don't lie and shit and be all hurt, nigga. If you butt hurt, dog, just tell you love her still. You know what I'm saying? Just don't <laughs> get over that shit, bro. And if she don't want you no more, nigga, just go ahead and move on, cuz. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't yeah. fly enough, nigga, shit, you just you was never fly in the first place. And you can't keep nobody that don't want to be kept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better go ahead and get you a motherfucker. So you might as well just stop wasting your time, her time. Hell yeah, get your ugly chick, <laughs> get, your, get your ugly chick, nigga. She love you. Oh, <laughs> oh my saying? God. Shout out to everybody, man. What you know what it is. Shit. <laughs>